wait, I forgot to say something. What did I forget to say? What is up? It's your girl, Nashley Nae, back again with another freaking video. Okay. You guys should know this by now, okay? I put out two videos. It's Black History Month. Feel the vibes. Melanin. Everywhere. So, as I promised you guys for Black History Month, I'm gonna give you as much black content as what? as possible okay so we're still on the theme of black owned businesses but this time i'm gonna show you guys what i personally have purchased <sighs> But you know, before we get into the video, you already know you gotta like, you gotta comment, you gotta subscribe, you gotta share this video, and you know you gotta hit that little bell at the top so you get notified every time we post a new video, okay? So I'm gonna give you time to do that now. Let's go. Y'all done? I know y'all done. Thank you for that. It helps me out and it helps y'all too because y'all get to keep seeing me. So because y'all have done that, now we can move on. Let's get into this video. So like I said, we're gonna do black owned businesses that Naturally Nay has personally purchased. I gave you guys the Valentine's Day video. If you guys didn't see that, you should go check that out. And I also gave you guys the Instagram personal friend video. So now we're actually gonna do a home thing. We're gonna talk about products that I personally have. Sorry that I bought I'm talking about literally everything that I bought and I've been stacking up to do this YouTube video for you guys so we're gonna get into it and if y'all think I'm crazy I'll show y'all I'm not kidding we got a lot of businesses oh we got a lot <laughs> We can't really get into my hair because I already got into it, but if you guys saw my last video, you guys know that my hair was slayed by a black-owned creator who owns a black-owned business. So if you want to know who that is, you can check my last video because I talked a lot about her and I gave her her fame, alright? First, we're going to go with Melanin Hair Care. If you don't know what Melanin Hair Care is, there's a website for them. They're actually stationed at Ulta Beauty, if you know what that is. And she has an Instagram as well. So I purchased three out of the four things that she has on her site. First, the hardest to get was the Melanin African Black Soap Shampoo. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's just beautiful. This bottle is just so pretty like my favorite feature of it is that it has this little nip top the top is an applicator for your roots and literally it's for you to get exactly where you need to go in your roots instead of just applying this all over your hair this is a decent sized bottle it's 16.1 fluid ounces which is that's a lot. It doesn't have any mineral oils, no silicones, no parabens, no sulfates, no none of that. This is pure, natural shampoo that Melanin Hair Care has blessed us with. And the price is actually very reasonable. It's $19.89 for this bottle. It's just so cute, and I love the name Melanin Hair Care. I also purchased her leave-in conditioner and her oil. Her oil just looks beautiful to me, and again, it still has the applicator-like style. And this is the leave-in conditioner this is a multi-use softening leave-in conditioner it has nourishing bobo sorry if i said that wrong oil turnip root and pro vitamin b5 both her shampoo and her leave-in are 16.1 fluid ounces which i think is a lot of product and her oil is eight fluid ounces and it has bobo oil argan oil and vitamin e in it as well so the oil is 17.99 i'll also put a picture of that right here and the leave-in multi-use leave-in conditioner is 18.99 so i think that's pretty good it just looks beautiful guys like you just can't get you some melanin hair care next still on the topic of hair because i was at ulta beauty so pattern if you do not know what pattern is tracy ross is actually the founder of pattern it's her line and basically it's just another natural line for natural hair there are some pros and cons to it some people like it some people really don't and there is some debates about it but i personally just got her pick and her edge brush and her scrunchies because those are like essential you feel me so the pick i think is so cute sorry if it's dirty comes in this nice velvet case or bag and i think that's cute and you see the detail it says pattern this pick is beautiful look at that so the pick was actually nine dollars which is not bad at all you see that the teeth are a little flimsy, but not to breaking point if you're using it as a pick, but I wouldn't comb your hair through with this, but I just really stand for how this looks. So then I also had to get the edge brush, and again, it comes with this velvet bag. The edge brush has a parting detail, it has the brush, and it also has the comb. The only downfall I don't like about this comb is if you look closely, the teeth are kind of separated. 
I don't really like that. If I were to try to use this to comb my edges, it wouldn't work as well because the teeth are too separated. I think if you have a looser curl pattern, then maybe it would work, but I don't know. That's just personally my preference. So I would just use the brush. Never use this comb, but I just love the detailing. It says pattern again. It's just very sleek and very cute. And then the bag is just what tops it off. And this was $12. And lastly, I had to get me my scrunchies. You already know. So satin scrunchies is all I do. That's my vibe. And here you see again it says pattern so I have three scrunchies and what I love about these scrunchies is they stretch pretty good like it's not just like you know like the like they stretch pretty good and these scrunchies were ten dollars for three so that's not bad at all they also sell conditioners they also sell shampoos like they sell minis now for traveling they have a traveling case they have the detangling brush and she does separate it into sections she does have her curlies her coilies her more wavy hair texture so she does separate it so if you ever need anything she has a website she's at ulta and she's on instagram so you can check her out right there all right let's keep going next is for my ladies we all know acrylic nails is our life today we are talking about pretty and press now unfortunately i got two different orders from her i got a machine made nail which is basically something that she could just make right then and there and send them to you and i also got a custom made set of nails but the custom set of nails are going to take a little bit longer so unfortunately i cannot show you that right now but if you follow me on my instagram then you will see it there i will give her a shout out and i will show you the nails that she has created for me just stay tuned just stay tuned but she did give me this little baggie of goodies so with the machine nails i'm sorry because as you see in the bottom I kind of like took some nails out that was me I got two different colors I got sheer peach and I got white they come in a set of like 20 nails I believe so you pick which nail fits you versus just giving her your sizes and then her doing it for you personally I wasn't a fan of picking my nails but I understand like some people are so these are the white ones that actually fit my nail and these are the sheer peach ones that fit my nail now I do have extras at the bottom of the ones that don't fit my nail I don't know what I'm gonna do with them so a good thing with her as well is you do have the option of picking a nail glue or picking nail tabs she'll give you two sets of nail tabs of course because I got two set of nails and the difference if you guys don't know nail tabs are just temporary like they'll last for like weeks I believe versus if you put nail glue they'll last as long as you make them last like depending on how much you work or how little you work then they'll last longer but I I wanted the nail tabs just to try them out to see if I even like this concept of press on nails versus acrylics because acrylics have been drying on my nail and breaking them so I just I can't get with it no more so I purchased the nails five dollars a piece each so that's ten dollars and I also got this cuticle pen oil this is five dollars as well so the only thing free that comes in the set is the nail tabs and also this little nail kit it comes with a filer and a buffer and a cuticle pusher for you to get ready and do nail prep for your nails to get put on which I think is really cute and her prices are very low guys like even her custom set I paid $30 for my custom set just hit her up pretty impressed this is her Instagram you'll see her website on her Instagram next so next I feel like it's only right to get into our body butters you know your girl is a fan of body butters if you watch my Marshall Madnesses I love body butters so I did talk about wound therapy in my Valentine's Day video if you guys want more information about her then that information is up there I purchased her new product which was the pretty I won't say the whole name because it's a little explicit she did not have it in stock so she sent me the dangerous fragrance body butter along with the body elixir for the pretty one I didn't purchase the pretty one so I got it for free but when I went on her website for the oil I saw that it cost $20 so this is the four ounce dangerous body butter you see it here and it smells really good guys it's literally just coconut oil shea butter cocoa butter fragrance and love is what it says and look at that I've actually used this a little bit but it's very thick and it's very creamy and it just melts like on your skin and it smells amazing I thought the pretty one was gonna be better but I actually like the dangerous one better it gives you more of like a mm, vibe and then she also sent me the pretty magic body elixir it doesn't have ounces on here but you can kind of get an idea of how big it is compared to like you see if you were to purchase these separately, this would be $20 and this would be $25. It's a thicker shea butter versus like the whipped ones. So I do like that because a little bit goes a long way. That's probably why it's $25. But I just know so many bigger bottles that I can get for like $7, $10, $15 or even $25. But it'd be a bigger bottle. So she had a bigger 
one like this that wasn't four ounces i would definitely definitely buy it next on the body butter train we got respected roots now if you guys don't know who respected roots are they are on amazon they have a website and they are on instagram so i'll put them right here respected roots has services for like beard oils face your skin and i got their respected roots body butter in sensitive and original now personally i don't see much of a difference sensitive is supposed to have no fragrance versus original having a slight fragrance but i personally like the original better i think their design is very cute they changed it over you know a couple months so this used to be the old design and this is now the new design they both have gold tops just slightly different colors but it's still the same great product they're $24.99 each like they have everything for you so go check them out next these were actually free but i did look him up he's actually a friend of my family so we got the we got the good good it has the ingredients on here but his name is butter by boss and he has a website right here so i'll post that for you guys every body butter is five dollars but he also has beard stuff he has air fresheners perfumes colognes anything like that and along with body butters so i got the boss million lucky body butter and the boss powder body butter i don't know if you guys did this but we definitely did this in my hood when you was a kid and you was like oh i just want to make sure i'm straight and walk out the house we would like lotion our bodies and for some reason pull our clothes and just dump baby powder in there just to make sure we smelt fresh and leave it smells straight like baby like strong baby powder and the thickness is actually very like it's wet you know like it's light and fluffy but a little bit does go a long way the boss million lucky one has like a rich fruity smell to it like it's not too fruity but it's like a sophisticated fruity smell the only difference between the powdered one and this one is the powdered one has mango butter in it and this one just has shea butter cocoa butter and then fruit oils this is the boss million lucky one and this is the boss powder one but they're a decent size and if you want any of his products or anything like that you can find him at www.butterbyboss.com and they they're actually pretty good i use mine a lot so check him out next we have vanity moods she sells a lot of different lip glosses lip gloss keychains all those types of things suitcases all that stuff and she also sells lashes now she also has a side business that we'll get into later that's called designer edges i didn't actually purchase that but she sent me a giveaway but i did purchase this this is her small box and this is what the box looks like and it's filled with lip glosses and it was twenty dollars you see that these two I actually purchased separately. They were $2 a piece. They didn't come in the box and I was more so interested in these two. So I did get that. That is literally all the lip glosses that she sent me in this small box. And this is the small one. She has a medium box and a large box. So if I got 10 lip glosses in this box, excluding the two that I purchased separately, imagine what the medium and the large box will have if you only get 10 for $20. Like, I think that's awesome. As I said, she also sells lashes. Now she sells false lashes and she sells the actual mink lashes it comes in this cute little case and it opens like this and these are the lashes I got which I think are cute the lashes were seven dollars I got the sale ones they're up to twelve dollars so check her out if you want a pair of lashes so again she does have another business it's called designer edges which is more for hair care like edge controls and gels for your hair and things like that she was doing a giveaway which is a mix of her vanity moods and her designer edges and I won the giveaway this is the box which I'm so pleased with look at the detail look at that that is beautiful. This is so pretty. It comes lined with paper and it said thank you and look. It even gives you information here. She gives me a lot of stuff and I actually haven't went through it. I've been waiting for you guys. But this is what it looks like. It's a lot of stuff in here. She gives me three satin scrunchies that have Mickey Mouse on them. So I have a pink one. I have a tan one. And I have a green one. She gave me lip gloss. She gave me the watermelon lip gloss. She gave me a pair of lashes which is whoo. There's her name though, so you guys can see, Vanity Moose. She gave me this lip oil. This is so cute because it has flowers in it. And then she also gave me the other Max one, which is the rose flavored one. For the lashes, she gave me some lash glue, and it also says Vanity Moose on it, which I think is so cute. Then here we go, Designer Edges. She gives you this edge control right here. And this edge control is 4C Hair Approved Sleek Natural and Relaxed Hair Edge Control. It is 5.3 ounces of edge control. This is a lot. Can y'all see that? 
That's a lot of edge control in there. I think that's dope. So she also gave us an edge brush. It has the pointed tail on it, the rat tail part with small teeth, which I actually appreciate. I told you guys about the patterns. It's just like loosely spaced and it has the brush on it. She gave us a headband, a Chanel headband. I didn't get the memo. I hate pink, but she gave me a Chanel headband. I don't know what I'll do with these things that I don't want. I'll probably give them away. Stay tuned for that. Oh, she gave me three bonnets. So she gave me a Bape pink bonnet. This is a brown Louis Vuitton one. And she gave me a multicolored black Louis Vuitton one. So I have three bonnets now. I want to see how big these are. I'm going to open one up. Guys. <gasps> the band is really thick. Like, it's not going anywhere. And look how big. I have braids, guys. And look. I'm shook. She gave me a lot of stuff, so I'm actually very appreciative, and I think you guys should definitely check her out. Like, check her out right there at designer underscore edges and also at vanity moods, because she is doing some things, and she's giving you some quality stuff. I also got something from the site called Ancient Cosmetics. I'll put them right there. But I got the 4-in-1 face oil because it's winter time and my face has just been acting up. So this oil has avocado oil, grapeseed oil, turmeric oil, and germanium oil. She sells basically vegan, natural, handmade products, like all from scratch. She sells facial stuff, she sells body things, body oils, body butters, body cleansers, facial cleansers, like all of that stuff. I even think she might have some hair stuff for you. So this oil specifically is $20, but I've used this oil at least seven times. And look, it's still at the top. So for $20, you're getting all this oil and you only need a little bit if you're using more than just that on your face what are you doing and it's very light it's not a thick greasy oil like it literally just penetrates your skin and goes in and stays there I think it's amazing so check her out $20 for this and there's a lot of different other things on there that are fairly priced so okay last but not least because I feel like I've been talking all day we have scented escapes I actually purchased three different candles from her which I will show you today she has different sizes and different scents the small candle is three dollars the medium is five the large is ten and the extra large is fifteen so anyways I got an extra large eucalyptus and peppermint candle this is how it comes the only thing I will say is the placement of the wicks I feel like could have been a little bit better but I haven't burned these candles so it might not be an issue to me I'm not that big on like oh like oh my gosh it's not placed in the right spot but I just noticed that and I don't want them to all catch on fire together is what I'm concerned about this is a huge candle but you see where she placed the wicks like they're a little too close together but I don't think that would be an issue it smells really really good as soon as I open the candle I smelt it in my room now I do not know how many fluid ounces this is she does not say but I will show you in comparison to the large because I did get large candles as well you will see that this candle is a little discolored at the bottom that just means that the wax is cooled at different temperatures it's not a big deal it's still the same thing it's not that it's old it's just that they cooled at different temperatures this candle is Jamaican me crazy in large and this is the extra large you see that see the difference Jamaican me crazy is so tropical it smells like mangoes and it has two wicks in it versus the large candle has three. The last candle I got was the strawberry and guava. Now personally, I personally don't like it. It smells like bubble gum to me. Yeah, it smells like a strong strawberry vitamin, like strawberry bubblegum vitamin, but it is a very pretty candle. My sister says she really likes it, so I think I'm gonna give this one to her. But again, the large ones are $10. Like, you're getting this candle for $10. But again, this is Sending Escapes. That is her Instagram if you wanna check her out. So in total, you guys got three different videos from me, a Valentine's Day video, a personal friend video that has black owned businesses, and now, naturally nays personal collection of black owned products now of course i have more black owned products but these are the ones i personally bought through black history month and i hope you guys got a plethora of different ideas and different places that you can get things i hope you guys like this video subscribe comment down below share it hit that bell at the top so you get notified every time you post a new video and just tell me your thoughts tell me anything you want me to know down below i won't make any more videos pertaining to black owned businesses as of right now i hope you guys like the three that i did give you guys if this is something you want me to continuously do let me know again but as always guys it's your girl naturally they remember to go slay and pray and have a good freaking day all right peace out